Hi everyone, this is Shane Armand Rowe, and I'd like to show you around BeatMapper Tools. This is a new tool set for those who like to map in Beat Saber. With this tool, it'll help automate the workflow between editing a map in Mediocre Mapper, having it save, convert, and deploy itself directly to your Beat Saber custom whips levels, where it will then appear within Beat Saber to play. Now, this has been a manual process up until now because Mediocre Mapper doesn't support the new song format. So let's go ahead and open up BeatMapper Tools. And because this is the first run of the tool, you're going to need to fill out a couple of things. Sorry, I'm not using my primary monitor here. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is find your Beat Saber executable. Pretty straightforward. Wherever you have it installed. Grab the executable here, Beat Saber. And it's now going to ask you to navigate to your custom whip maps folder. So this is what you use in Mediocre Mapper um, to store your custom songs, right? So we're gonna, I've got those set up to go to the Beat Saber whip songs folder. These are all my ones that are in progress. You need to go into one of these folders and select the AUG file. That's how it knows that you're using an old version of the map and it sets the initial directory for us. And during the first run, it tells you that we're going to leave the watcher turned off until you get a chance to look over the application, and then you're going to want to turn it on. Every subsequent time you run it from now on, though, it'll automatically turn on. So let's take a look around. We have a couple of different tabs here. We're going to start over here with miscellaneous. Over here, this will allow you to auto-launch Mediocre Mapper when you start Beat Saber, uh, Beat Mapper Tools. So it's simply a matter of finding your executable for Mediocre Mapper. And I don't have it handy. But we can get there quick. All right. And then just checking auto launch on startup. Okay. So now you'll notice when we close the app and we reopen it, Mediocre Mapper will automatically start. And it's on my other screen, but there it is. And you can see these are all the songs that are in that WIP songs folder I was telling you about. All right. So that's all well and good. But let's talk about what the meat of this program is for, and that is to allow you to edit maps in Mediocre Mapper and have them automatically drop into this custom levels folder. And I've got all the folders open so you can see how it actually works. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to exit. We're going to restart it so it launches Mediocre Mapper again. All right, we're going to select one of my songs, Electric Dreams, and we're going to edit it. Now, as soon as you edit the level, a modification gets made by Mediocre Mapper. My tool has already picked up the file, converted it, and tucked it into custom whip levels. At this very minute, if you went and launched Beat Saber, that custom map would be ready for you converted and ready to play. So let's say you're editing your map, you're editing your map, you hit save. Now it's going to tell me how many vision blocks I have, etc., etc. You know, we have to have that. Now, this is all transparent. You don't see what's going on, but it just updated again, 746, right? And if you go over and look at the tool, you can see that it's doing things and telling you what it's up to. It detected changes, and it went ahead and exported it out. I'm going to wait for 747, and I'm going to save it again, so you can see that this whole process is transparent. You don't have to continuously save, convert, copy over, lose your custom levels, all of the sort of nonsense we did before. Okay, we're at 747. I'm going to resave, get hollered at for my vision blocks, and you can see that inside 747 with the files that changed. Perfect. All right. Now let's say you've, you've worked on your map, it's all ready to go, now you're ready to upload it. Well, you have to go in and clean out the old files, you have to zip it up, you have to make sure it's in the right format, blah, blah, blah. Well, no longer the tools take care of that for you. I'm going to select Electric Dreams. It automatically parses it, gets everything out, tells me that the song is valid. It checks all the DAT files, makes sure that you have your AUG file, your everything that you need. It, it does it for you. Now, we don't have a packed song path here, so we don't know where it wants to put it. So we're going to have to go ahead and select that folder now. And I'm just going to um, go to E, make a new folder, uh, packed. Okay, so now it's saved, and I can go ahead and hit Pack Song, and it says the song was packed. Do I want to open up the Beat Saber website to upload it? If I say yes, it'll open my browser and take me straight to the upload page, provided you're logged in, of course. 
All right, and we can always open this path from here just to make sure that that file is indeed there where it's supposed to be, and it is. All right, so what happens if you haven't touched one of your custom maps? Uh, if you haven't touched it, it hasn't been converted, right? So Electric Dreams is the only one that's converted. If I wanted to say do Total Eclipse of the Heart, and I try to bring that up, it tells me that uh, this custom map has never been converted. Do we want to convert it now? I say yes, and in a few moments it'll appear over here, it's converted. So now if I select it again, uh, I got a little uh, label overlap there, can't have everything. Uh, I'll fix that. And then uh, hit Pack Song. Nope, I don't want to open Beat Saber, open the path, and you can see both songs are packed. It's that easy. Uh, your workflow is uh, streamlined dramatically thanks to the Beat Mapper tools. And that, as they say, is that. There are some useful resources on the About tab. You can open up a couple of browser type things, go to Beat Saber's new maps, uh, go to directly to uh, your profile, some other good stuff in here. Um, you can also uh, watch a help video, which you're watching right now. And of course, you can always go to our Discord server and ask for help, make suggestions, um, whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the tool. Uh, if you're tired of seeing all those pop-up messages, you can just hit the squelch newbie messages. And a lot of those messages that constantly pop up to uh, hold your hand will be gone. And when you uh, exit out, it'll save your settings. And you'll notice that you got no exit message that time. Well, listen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you enjoy the tools. I hope it makes your workflow easier. Um, I can't always have time to map myself. This is my way of giving back to the Beat Saber community. Again, this is Shane R. Monroe. Please like and share this video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.